This gun control stuff could not happen at a better time in some ways. You know, 20 years ago, we kind of trusted our government. Uh, We did exactly the opposite of what George Washington said. George Washington said, treat government like a fire. Uh, When you're in control of it, it will keep you warm. And it's fine. It could be useful. When it's in control of you, it will burn everything down. Um, We now are starting to, at least some of us, are starting to look at the government. And there's no way the Patriot Act uh, would have passed uh, today, you know, assuming we had a regular Senate and everything else, I can't imagine that uh, the Patriot Act would have would have come close to passing today because there's enough people who are like, uh, uh-uh, uh, no more power for you guys, no more power. Now we're giving them the red law, uh, the red flag laws. We're giving them the power to say, oh, you know what, you've been, you've had some mental health problems. Oh, you've had Prozac. Whatever it is, and I'm sure there's going to be a really simple way to, you know, combat this in the courts. Because you don't get to face your accuser. So all of that is bad, but here's the worst part of it. And this is the main thing that I think every American should be able to relate to. And it should give them pause. If red flag laws, now hear me out, if you're a Democrat or voted a different way, that's fine. Just please hear me out on this. If red flag laws become the law of the land, do you think that Hunter Biden would lose his guns or go to jail? Looking just at the existing red flag laws, as well as the DOJ's model legislation about them, in essence... A petitioner may approach the court and request a a close relative, friend, student, patient have their firearm taken away if they have cause for believing that person will hurt themselves or others. The judge has to consider multiple factors, including criminal history, drug abuse, threatens or, or threats if they've threatened anyone, attempted or actual use of force or even how recently the gun was purchased. It's a pretty wide net, and it can catch whomever it needs to catch. And conversely, let anyone you need to let through, through. Now, let me tell you a story. 2018, Hallie Biden took Hunter Biden's gun, wrapped it in a shopping bag, and then chucked it into the trash can outside of a supermarket across from a school. When they went back to get the gun... It was gone. Now, somebody had gone through the trash, found the gun, and turned it into the supermarket, and the supermarket called police. But like so many Hunter Biden stories, the chaos created uh, some sort of a sandstorm, which you can't find anything anymore, and just tidbits of information emerged. The main one being that the gun in question was purchased by Hunter Biden illegally. Let me say that again. This gun, purchased by the son of the President of the United States, was purchased in the, in the East Coast in a, in a fashion that is illegal, and the East Coast, they come down on you like a bag of bricks. Next to the question that you have to fill out when you buy a gun for a background check, are you an unlawful user or addicted to marijuana, any depressant, stimulant, narcotic drug, or any other controlled substance? The answer with Hunter Biden is clearly and was clearly yes, but he checked no. Hunter recalled the gun in the garbage incident in a text found on his abandoned laptop. And in it, he said, she stole the gun out of my trunk lockbox and then threw it in a garbage can full uh, uh, can full to the top at Jansen's. That's the grocery store. She said she took it from me because she was scared I would harm myself due to my drug and alcohol problem and our volatile relationship and that she was afraid for the kids. Is that red flag? 
Hallie wrote to Hunter saying, I'm scared you would use it, Hunter. I'm scared for your life, Hunter. I love you. I'm sorry. But Hunter was enraged. He texted her saying, "Uh, they think you're scared I would shoot you, you effing a-hole. You now have me as an as a abusive pedophile with homicidal tendencies, and that's now in the hands of the FBI. So she said all of these things. She told the FBI, uh, "I'm afraid for our life. I'm afraid for the children. Uh, I'm afraid that he might use it on himself. He is addicted to drugs, to crack cocaine." It was in the hands of the FBI. How long would you have the gun or be free on the streets if that happened to you? In desperation, she wrote back, I'm at the end of my sanity. He responded in multiple messages saying, "Uh, what right do you have, Hallie? There are five guns in my dad's house. Uh, There are effing more weapons in your son's room than in an armory. What's my F up owning a gun? How, Hallie, is that wrong? It's only wrong if you make me out to be unstable. I'm proven unstable when you put a gun in the trash can at Jansen's out of fear. Hmm. Then again, in a separate message, he writes, what fear? Hunter is either insane, homicidal, or just a drug addict. He finally ended the conversation saying, you're right, Hallie, my life is meaningless. There were no charges filed as a result of this incident. None. If you voted for uh, uh, Joe Biden and you believe in all of these red flag laws, then why isn't Hunter Biden in jail today? If you really believe these people in Washington to believe this, then why wouldn't just a good father say, you know, dude, you've got to pay a price for your behavior. And now, even though it added the uh, to the unraveling of Hunter and Hallie's toxic relationship, no legal consequences. Now, the agency denied it. Even Politico reported the Secret Service was likely involved. But the agency, the FBI said, no, that didn't happen. What? How did the, what? You and I both know, you and I both know that the ramifications of Hunter Biden's activities and his tragic saga go well beyond Hunter Biden because they are teaching people a lesson. We are moving towards a society that has a ruling class that lives above their own edicts. They tell us they know better. They tell us that our neighbors and even some of us are dangerous while ignoring the dangers in their own lives or in their own families. We now expect that our leaders and those that have favor with those leaders will not face any consequences. And even if you are a leader, if you don't play games with the leadership, you're out. Look at Elon Musk. Elon Musk now has the number one car uh, for uh, rated on how much of it is built in America. Number one. Yet he's thrown under the bus. He, I guess, is not American enough. We saw it during COVID-19, and we will see it again with gun regulations. The rules for thee and not for me. This is why Americans cannot give an inch, not one inch of our liberty away on the grounds of the government's good faith. They have no good faith left. They have violated every single principle of liberty, and they've done it in the name that they know better. Follow the science. Follow the experts. Well, they're the experts. They're the ones who have screwed this up. The American people have not screwed this up. 
The American people are not the reason why our our uh, government is so corrupt, other than the fact that we continue to vote them into office. We weren't the ones running the Fed. We're not the ones at the money printing uh, shop at the Treasury. We're not the ones that are screaming for war. Even if red flaws were not flatly unconstitutional and a threat to all of our liberty, which they are, they should still be resisted for the very reason that the political elite cannot be trusted. Our political betters continue to surround themselves with armed guards. They continue to shield themselves from the laws that they themselves enact. When you have the Capitol Police colluding with the leadership because the police work for them when you have the secret service and the fbi colluding on crimes with our political leadership they cannot be trusted that is why they want your guns gone it's not anything to do with our kids it has nothing to do with anything they want again i go back to george washington When the government fears the people, there is freedom. When the government, when the people fear the government, there is tyranny. The only equalizer is the gun. Well, you can't fight the United States military. I don't know. I mean, we don't have any caves to hide in, but it seemed to work well in Afghanistan, didn't it? They're shielding these themselves from the laws that they enact themselves. And at the same time, they're calling on us to strip each other of our rights. They want us to do it. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Just as we saw during COVID-19, just as we saw with the Patriot Act that is now being horribly abused by the people in power that swore they'd never abuse it, Red flags are not about your safety, period. They are about your submission.